Uh, the second classification for addition polymers is known as tacticity, and this talks about uh, their orientation of the side chains on the, on the hydrocarbon, on the backbone. And it's really simple. If all the side chains are on one side, it's known as isotactic. By the way, these molecules are still polystyrene. If you have, uh, if you have them placed on alternating uh, opposite sides, then you are syndiotactic. And finally, if they are randomly placed on opposite sides, you are atactic. Now the properties changes because of this. In isotactic, you are going to sort of um, pack nicely next to each other and then you will have higher van der Waals, therefore you are more rigid, your melting point goes up and you sort of semi-crystalline or crystalline in nature. If you are atactic, on the other hand, this, this benzenes on other sides at irregular pattern are going to interrupt the packing. You will have lower, lower melting point. You will have a sort of less rigidity and the property changes. So isotactic on the same side, the branches. Syndiotactic on alternating but regular pattern. And atactic randomly placed on opposite sides. Now let's look at the next slide, which I, this time I want you to, uh, to answer this question so you can pause the video and say what is the monomer of these polymers? These polymers are all the same and also tell me the orientation of the side chains in terms of tacticity. So hopefully now you realize, let's go after the simplest, all methyl groups are on one side, then therefore this is isotactic. If you look at uh, the last one here, you see it's regular alternations on opposite sides. So this is syndio or tactic. And finally, if you look at the first one, it is randomly placed two on this side, one, then one, then this is a tactic. Now, if we challenge you on properties, then you should say this one has higher melting point and a tactic should have definitely lower melting point. Now what is this monomer you should go after? Uh, you see this is where the double bond opened and this is the other double bond. So the longest chain was this and if you put the double bond CH2 double bond CH attached to CH3. This is the CH3 that I opened. And if you you need to remember your organic chemistry, this is one, two, three carbon prop. It has in group because of the double bond and you don't need to say one propene because both structures, if you do them, they are exactly identical. The second question is, I want you this time to draw the polymer of two methyl propene. So pause the video and do it yourself and then let's compare notes. Two methyl propene, so it has three carbons. On the second carbon you have a methyl. Now this one I'm going to make it CH3 and I'm going to make CH2 here. Carbon should have four attachments, one, two, three, four, this carbon has, and that carbon also has. Now if you put many of them next to each other, this double bond is going to open up. So I'm going to highlight this C in different colors. So I have a C here, C here, and then I'm going to put my CH3. CH3 and the two hydrogens are here and then we'll open up and hold on to the next door neighbor so you will make poly 2 methyl propene as your polymer. 